Hello, Dusty Mountain Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shiny Force 3. There he is. There's Medion. With me, Blue Ankylo. So, last episode, we explored Dusty Village, got a couple little things, and now we're heading out of town to uh, try to catch up with Symbios. And if you remember Scenario 1, um, I mean, it would be expected that we're able to catch up with him, so let's go do that. Uh, seeing as... I do remember the, the two of these leaders actually running into each other, so we gotta go make that happen. Of course, if you don't remember Scenario 1, that was a huge spoiler, and maybe we won't make it over this mountain range, you never know. This path, this mountain path, is certainly steep. We should take our time and be careful. Uh, also, there's flashes of light and growling. They come out of nowhere. We're easy pickings for flying bandits up here. They raided us and flew off just like that. Damn bandits. Now we're late for the rendezvous. We'll need to get a move on if we're going to catch up with that main varlet force. Look, an Imperial army. Damn, they must have followed us. We suffered some injuries in our battle with the bandits, but we can handle that meager force. Hey, who are you calling meager? <laughs> All troops to battle, yeah, we'll see. Now, there's a problem here. They have the high ground, you know. <laughs> they are preparing to attack. We will not be able to avoid battle. Let's get ready, Medion. Prince Medion, our enemies have a great advantage from their higher elevation on the battlefield. Do not let your guard down. Luckily though, I think we established that unlike Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, enemy archers don't get a ridiculously huge range buff when they have a, a height advantage. I still don't know the... the I still, like, I don't know all the rules in this game, like how many tiles up and down you can attack uh, or jump. Um, that was a little bit more established in the Final Fantasy Tactics world and uh, Tactics Ogre and all that kind of stuff. But in this one, um, well, sort of guess a little bit. Anyway, uh, we've got an Aspinia Knight. I believe these are from Varlance Forces, specifically. Uh, we've got a Dwarf. We've got some Snipers, lots of Snipers. Apparently they're working with the Bats again. And anybody else? That's it. No magic, just uh, axe guys, and a couple lance guys, and a bunch of bow guys. Okay. You can handle it. So uh, our force, we're all what? Level 3-ish now, I think? Most people are level 3, except I think Midian. Midian's 4. And I think Campbell? Yeah, Campbell's 4. Oh yeah, and uh, Uryudo. Uryudo's been leveling up pretty well, so that's good. I would like to get most people to level 4 on this map, specifically Synthesis, who's one experience away. I should have... would have been really nice if she got it on the last battle. But, um, you know, she'd like to learn some new spells here. So... I'm just gonna rush Midian up there. I don't think those dwarves are gonna be able to do much damage to him. 12 defense. He's got a weapon advantage over them. They're gonna do one damage. There's just no way... So, uh, that's fine. Uh, I want to keep Synthesis a little bit more secure, though. So she'll be fine up to here. Campbell... He, he, what's his defense? It's 12. Uh, the difference is um, they'll have weapon advantage on Campbell, so I'd rather he didn't take the hit. But I can prevent, or I can help reduce the chance of getting a crit on Medion by putting him uh, next to him. So, let's start working on those uh, support bonuses. Start remembering how they work and all that. The succumb protection or resistance to enemy criticals and skills isn't a hugely valuable um, friendship thing, but, you know, it's okay. Okay, so we've got two archers. Uh, and I'd rather have Rock move a little closer, though. I want to save that spot for him. And Uryudo can stay at the bottom of the stairs. We're kind of uh, a little bit of a bottleneck here. The enemy, if they, if the enemy was smart, 
they could theoretically hold us at the top of the stairs. But, uh, you know, they're not that smart. They're not clever. Okay, let's, let's get in there. Now, the bats might try to ambush us. The only thing they can do is uh, poison. They shouldn't. They should just be doing one damage now, pretty much for sure. So I'm not terribly worried. I'm gonna put Medion on this side, and if I'm lucky, I'll have enough um, attacks to uh, kill the dwarves and the bat, maybe. And there, Medion goes showing off. So it looks like uh, we could probably do a little bit of level grinding here. If we're getting that much experience, that's not terrible. So it's a little bit dangerous having Synthesis up, up on our own, but the Dwarves tend to be quite slow. So we can expect them to go near the end of the round. And we should definitely have time for Campbell and probably the Archers to go first. And I really wanted her to get Blaze level 2. <laughs> a pretty good level up. She will almost always get Agility up on her levels, so that's, that's pretty normal. Uh, I think... Yeah, the archers can't really get close enough to help. So let's make sure we finish off the, uh... Oh, um, Campbell. Let's get that lance leveled up before I worry about the spear. But once the dwarves are killed, then Campbell has no weakness. The, uh, the enemy knight will probably attack, um, Midian. Again, we give him a little bit of critical protection from this, from this, uh, from this setup. So, yeah, like if we had the upgraded bows that could have a range of three, we could hit the, uh, the, the bat. But we're still way too early for that. So Bernard should be a lot like Hayward. Um, pretty high agility bow user. Um, oh, he's running away. Well, that's odd. That's not what I would have ex expected. Ah, poisoned. Well, um, Uryudo does have the antidote spell now, if I want to use that. I'm pretty sure these bats will all die quickly enough. They're Canadian bats too, by the way. Did you guys notice that? It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm from Canada. I can say stuff like that. It's fine. Don't get upset. I'm going to have 15 comments about how Lou makes terrible jokes. Uh, well, rocks not going to be able to do much. Oh, speaking of rocks, uh, there is some treasure in some rocks on this map. I forget which ones, so you have to put someone next to them to find out. I think there's two treasures on this map. Okay, so I could blaze two, which would do around 12 damage and probably kill both bats. These two. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's, uh, I think this guy will come down and take a shot at us. He might. I actually wouldn't mind that. Eight defense. How much damage can he do? Eh, she'd probably take around five damage. Uh, maybe, maybe four with the defense, the train bonus. Depends on how they round. Uh, but that wouldn't kill her. And if we lured the archer down, then we could kill him next round easily enough. So uh, I'm okay with that. And I mostly decided that we'll probably use rods with synthesis. All right, we are gonna want Midian to get healed up. I'll move him back. Take a pot shot with the knife so someone else can get the kill and we can get a little bit of friendship. Wow, still almost, almost enough damage just with the knife. Um... So let's see, the archers have the weapon advantage on the bats. Campbell... How do I want to do this? Campbell's already friends with Midian. He could go for friendship with... Synthesis. We've got Rock and two archers, so I could injure one more bat, and then my other three attackers could finish them off. Unless they miss. You know, min-maxing a little bit here because it's not too difficult. So Bernard, this is the first time we've really used him. Um, I'll have him take this one out. 
All right, well, first shot was a crit. I'm happy with that. Good job, Bernard. Hayward was supposed to be the crit master, and he hardly ever got any criticals for me. Like, like, remember when he first learned Ice Arrow? It took us, like... Alright, he'd go for, uh, Synthesis. Uh, it took, like... Feels like, like, three or four battles before we even saw him use Ice Arrow once we learned it, so I was kind of upset. Maybe, uh... Oh, these guys go... Shoot. I miscalculated the agility of the bats. So, they're gonna stack up a little bit more damage because I didn't finish them off quicker. But it's fine. Nothing to stress out about. Alright, Walt should certainly kill one of these. Uh huh. At weapon advantage, and he misses. It's fine. When I'm planning to kick someone off the team, I know who to look at. Oh, you don't... That sucks. Well, um... Guess we're gonna have to go with the antidote spell. Planning on using an antidote herb, but... It's fine. They do get a, a different, uh... Sh a battle shout for each different spell, I think, so... There you go. Got to hear that, whatever that was. All right, rock. It's time to rock. He's he's probably got the best name of the group. I could definitely make some good battle cries for for Mr. Rock. I like that. All right, synthesis. Uh, this was a different. This is not the one that she smacked the first time, but. I want to make sure this guy dies. Well, she could take another hit from him. Do some damage. I might try to lure him a little bit closer um, to the edge so that more of my crew can attack him. Just so Synthesis doesn't have to finish him off uh, by moving Midian a bit closer. Um, I'm going to let the archers finish the bat off if I can. Yeah, that should be easy enough. So I guess the the thing is, later on when I'm choosing who to keep on the party, I'm probably not going to keep, keep Bernard and Walt. One of them's going to get cut. So they need to fight for who gets to stay. And, uh, well, that was kind of silly of him. But uh, he signed his own death warrant. Um, that's fine. But, uh, you know, whoever has the most bad memories of missing important shots, whether it's Waltz or Bernard, that's the one I'm going to end up cutting out pretty much for sure. Alright, we're going to want to get some healing in before I go much further up here. So we're out of range for another turn. Alright, Waltz, so, so far you're 0 for 1 today. Be bad. Wasn't impressed. Alright, one for two. You know, you just don't want a horrible record for missing important shots. First priority is healing the hero, then we'll heal Maskrin because she took some damage. And then we'll start topping people up who uh, just leveled up or whatever. I think that rock on that platform has an item in it. This one up here, I think. And there sh should be one of these, maybe? Huh. Wonder if they're gonna make me go like all the way around down here to find a treasure. Just like scenario one, once we get a bird man that can fly around, we'll, we're kind of obligated to keep them because there's so many treasures in battles that require flying, so... I wonder who we'll get for that job. You might actually know if you uh, watch Scenario 1. You might have a good idea who's gonna be our flying bird person. Uh, you know what? Campbell... Take a shot here. Oop! I did that backwards. My bad. 
And then now Bernard can't get up. Dang it! What am I doing? Messing up my, my movements. I feel like maybe bows should start with range 3. Seeing as a throwing knife has a range 2. Uh, range 1 or 2. And it just does low damage. But the bows, you'd think, by default, even a lowly wooden bow, could fire an arrow further than you could throw a knife. Just, you know, right? Like, that makes sense? I'm pretty sure. Um... Well, I'm not afraid of using more, uh... Getting more rapier skill with Midian, really. Actually... Yeah, I should have used the knife. Because of that. Because he has the skill, he activates it so often. And now he's like two levels... Medion is incredibly strong. Holy smokes. But yeah, now he's like two levels above the group. First person to get a weapon skill by a large margin. And definitely the most, most offensive unit we've got. And the Protect Bracer keeps him safe as well. I like that. That's good. Alright, well, Waltz... Let's see how we do here on attack number three. Alright, well not a lot of damage, but that's not really your fault at the moment. Okay, we're gonna heal up... Miss Synthesis? You'd think with a name like Synthesis, she'd be like... Oh, that's a good That's a good partnership, actually. Uh, you'd think she'd be a little bit more druidic with like plant stuff. Right? That makes sense. She should get like uh, solar power or something. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Rockman, finish the job. There we go. Good job. Come on, give me all those stats. I was really hoping to see, like, plus two defense or something, seeing as Medion got plus two strength. And Medion gets to go again quickly because I left him with his, uh, rapier. I'm just gonna put him in the corner here. I think I'll have Uryudo heal him. Make sure I don't block up that spot then. Kind of want to keep Campbell away from the, uh, the, the dwarves a little bit. Still, they won't be able to gang up on us very effectively right now, so we should be fine. If they come down the stairs to us, I think we'll be set. Might have to ignore that one archer for a while. Uh, in case I forget, forgot to mention it before, the reason Uryudo and Synthesis are a good partnership uh, is, I believe, specifically... If I leave Uryudo next to Synthesis, uh, his magic stat will be boosted, which means he can actually heal more. Or if he learns the Tornado spell, he can do more damage with that. One of the few people that can use the magic buff. And his buff of luck is actually something that she can use eventually. So that's that's actually a pretty... That's a both way, uh, a dual purpose kind of uh, a partnership, which is, which is nice to see. It's tough for the mages to get dual direction uh, useful sort of level ups. Or part, you know what, whatever. If you haven't figured out what I'm trying to say by now, oof, I don't know, I can't help you. Alright, um, let's make that choke point here. We'll go with the knife for now. I don't know if, it should, it'll probably do six damage. Yeah. Yeah, Medion is uh, getting a little bit too many kills right now. Uh, we don't need any more antidote herbs. Let's see, is there anyone? I'm gonna leave the spot right behind him open, so that if the dwarves move, my archers can like actually get an attack in. Uh, I say that. Campbell's at a bit of a disadvantage, but I think if I attack this dwarf, the other dwarf will move in and pretty much has to attack Midian. And I'm okay using the lance here. 
And I gotta remember, don't let Medion get any more kills. Let let the other people get kills. Well, no one's gonna be able to attack from that square, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, does anyone else need some healing? There's probably a couple people with like one HP down. We have rock. That's it right now. Alright, well we're in pretty good shape then. Alright, so the, the first dwarf moved to Midian anyway. That's fine. Now the other one will probably attack um, Campbell and might do a little bit of damage. Nope, nope. They just focus on Midian. Okay. The AI doesn't always focus on the leader like that, but that's the usual response, right? Fine for Rock to get that kill, but I want one of the level threes to get the next one. So we got nine MP left. Honestly, we've got there's not that many enemies left, so I don't mind uh, Synthesis getting a couple more hits in. I would really like her to get uh, a weapon skill level up soon. Because that'll give her more magic damage, and you guys remember how well that works, so. Now, Medion is not getting that kill, so sorry, buddy, you're just gonna have to wait. Campbell is gonna help block up the path. And then someone at level 3 is gonna get the kill. Alright, Bernard! Bernard's on a good streak today, hasn't missed any shots. Looking at you, Waltz. Oh, that guy just chased us right down. Okay. Is there anything in this rock? No. Maybe over there. I don't know. Well, we're not going to leave our Yudo alone down there. That would be sad. There we go. Something on this rock. So, rock found an item in the rock, which is perfect. And the large mithril. This is the first one. Um, like in Scenario 1, I'm pretty confident there's plenty of spare large mithril. It's not a big deal. But, uh, you know, it's nice to stock up on as many of them as you can. There is something else on this map that I missed, though. Let me just double check. There's a healing drop in front of the snipers with the high ground. So, one of these rocks over here, maybe that one, something on the high ground area has a healing drop in it. I'm not sure if I'll waste enough time to go all the way around for it, though. Let's not go into sort of dangerous territory. We'll just, we'll keep it to a choke point so the enemy can only get one attack in rather than surrounding us. Well, two counting the sniper. But... And yeah, they keep backing up, so makes it easy. I can heal Medion? Sure, why not? The, uh, we don't want a repeat of the, uh, the masked mage and the priests when our hero dies three times in a row. That would be terrible. Just got lucky I saved it on that episode, honestly. I wasn't expecting to die like that, and, uh, I just happened to have a good save file right close. Okay, do we attack? Um... No. Well... Sure. I was gonna say no, we should wait, but I think we'll be fine. Do I want Campbell to get a kill? Hmm. Should have double checked how far other people can move so I could get more than just the one attack. So Rock can use a Tomahawk to attack somebody. But he's the only other one that has a has the range here. Well, let's make sure at least one person dies then. Or one dwarf, at least. I don't want three people attacking Medion if I can prevent it. And Dontrez was pretty amazing, so if Campbell turns out the way he did, I'll be I'll be happy. Um I don't want Bernard up by himself though. 
I he's got low HP. It's possible if the sniper and the uh, the knight went after him, they might have been able to kill him. I don't know. Just because he's got so low HP in defense. Also, we need to deal with that. Hey, it's that. It's the good theme from. Uh, it's the hero's theme from Scenario 1. Ugh, can't get close enough. Well, what do you think? 1v1 down here? I don't know. Oh, yeah, you, you could 1v1 that guy in two turns. Um, Ryudo could heal. How's his XP going? 62? Yeah, I'm not going to bother attacking with Ryudo right now. Um, I'm just going to sort of farm healing experience for now. I don't really want to kill the, uh, the knight anyway until we've killed the snipers. Just, just so we get all the experience. So... I'm thinking maybe Synthesis to down there to help. And then Rock up here because he can hit Tomahawk. The one that I want to hit first. He does have weapon advantage here, which is actually a good reason not to attack because I don't want to have a critical kill him in one hit or something. That'd be less optimal, right? All right, so then we'll let Synthesis should easily finish off the Sniper. Well, it looks like this battle's gone pretty smooth. Not much to worry about. Nice to see good amounts of experience per kill, actually. Ah, uh, that's fine. We don't need those. Alright, again, uh, I'm just gonna have Mini on hold here, because he's already got more experience. He's got more levels than anyone else. I'll just put him... Um in a likely spot to be hit by the uh, the knight. And Campbell... You know what? I don't mind if you get to level 5. I know I'm supposed to be saving kills for the level 3 archers. But, you know, Campbell with the 7 movement, it's really nice for him to have a good attack power early. It's sort of more valuable for um, high movement characters. Simply because they can make more use of... Uh, so they, they can sort of make more use of their attacks because they can move so much further. Rather than a, a five movement character, you know, they just can't make as many awesome uh, strategical moves. And, you know, flight counts towards good movement as well. Um, if you have the ability to ignore terrain, it's generally easier to position you somewhere effectively. But you do need the stats. Like, that was the problem with uh, Eldar for so long. Early on, she just did not have enough stats to be effective. But by the end of the game, she was... Ooh, she might have been the best unit by the end there. I, I don't know. Well, let's let Rock kill this guy because um, he's got weapon advantage anyway. And I feel like that's a good idea. Well, that was a nice quick fight. I know I missed the healing drop, but they're not that rare anyway, so don't stress out too much. Um, if you wanted to go pick it up, you could just drag the fight on for a few more rounds. And uh, just go to where the archers started. You! You Imperial bastards set us up! We bought King Benetra more time, but we missed our chance to escape. Now death awaits. All of this... Uh, because the Empire and Saraband framed us for the Emperor's abduction. You'll pay for this. You'll get what you deserve. To be honest, the average Republic soldier did get really screwed on this whole procedure. <laughs> Only a few Republicans were in on the plot at all. Like the, the uh, rebellious generals. Pretty much everyone else just got killed. For... Other people, the, the masked monks and Prince Arant's ambitions. Uh, more evidence of the Republic's innocence. But then why has the Emperor been seen with King Benetra? It is difficult to say, Campbell. 
But what happened here only reassures me that we need to speak with the Symbios army. The switching point should be just on the other side of this mountain. If we find the Symbios army there, perhaps we will be able to ascertain the truth. Let's go. Alright, well, we're going to ascertain the truth in the next episode. Uh, as soon as we have a place where I can pause it, we will end this one. Anytime now, though. Alright, well, you might recognize that train track. And you might sort of recognize this setup. With the switching point. So there you go. Next episode, we will see what happens on the other side of the train tracks that we dealt with in Symbios' mission. Remember, this one was kind of cool. We had to try to rescue all the uh, the civilians that were being hunted down. And uh, it, was kinda, it was a fun battle. I like this one. So let's see what happens on the other side next time with me, Luanculo. Thanks for watching, guys.